Before we actually start placing any sprinklers into our project, it's worth noting that sprinkler pipework does not use the same calculation methods as hydronic or domestic hot and cold water, for example. And because these calculation methods are so different, they're just not included in Revit MEP at this point in time. If you're already using other software to do your calculations for sprinkler pipe work, then it's fair to say that you should carry on doing so for the time being. But you can still use Revit MEP for doing your documentation and your coordination with other services. So on that premise, let's dive in to Revit MEP for sprinklers. From the startup screen, click on Open and browse to your Chapter 13 folder and open up the file Chapter 13 Sprinklers. The sprinkler objects, like many other objects in Revit MEP, can be hosted or non-hosted. Placing them on something like a ceiling or a side wall-hosted sprinkler head is a relatively easy process to do. But what happens if you don't have a ceiling? What if they're exposed sprinkler heads with exposed pipework? Then you have to choose a different type of sprinkler head. So let's look at placing both of those types of sprinkler. One in an exposed corridor and the other hosted type into a ceiling. Let's start with the exposed one. From the Systems tab, click on Sprinkler. And from the Properties palette, we're going to select a sprinkler head a non-hosted one. Here I'm going to select a 20mm pendant. We'll choose its offset from the working level as 2400 and I can place a sprinkler. Click on modify. If I create a section at this point we'll be able to see where our sprinkler sits in relation to the building. Let's crop this view for clarity and I'm going to change its scale to 1 to 20. I only need to see level 3. Scroll in, and we can see that our sprinkler head is in the right orientation, and it's below any of the other services in the area. Let's go back to our level 3. At this point, I'm going to use the array tool to create copies of my sprinkler head along the corridor. I'll click my start point. Let's say we've got a four and a half meter distance between the two of them, and we've got eight sprinkler heads. Because this is an array group, I can come back and change the number of the array to meet my requirements. Or I can increase the spacing just by moving one of them. Let's move this by 500. And now all my sprinklers are spaced at five meters. Let's just change that number back to 10, and I'm happy with my layout. Now I can do the ceiling hosted ones. Back on the Systems tab, click on Sprinkler again, and this time I'll opt for the Sprinkler Pendant Hosted, but we'll use the same type of pendant. When I go to place it this time, we get the options on my contextual toolbar and I can specify to place this on a face. Now that I have one placed, I can click on Modify and go through the same process as before. Use the Array tool to create a horizontal array. So I can now select those previous three. Make sure I ungroup them first and then use the Array tool again to create my vertical array. Let's check the placement of those with my section. And here you can see my sprinklers sat neatly on the underside of the ceiling. 